On June 1st, 2020, Officer Shay Michelonis was shot while on foot patrol at a protest near Circus Circus, a bullet putting him in a wheelchair and causing him to need a ventilator to breathe. After two years of recovery, he'll finally get a chance to regain some control over his life. The message has always been it gets better, but like anything else, you have to work for it. Recovery is hard work. Just as Metro Officer Shane Michelonis, after being shot two years ago, his injuries have left him with limited mobility and needing a ventilator to breathe. His family has been at his side every step of the way. When he has his good days, he's really, he's happy. When he has his not so great days, he realizes they're not so great days, but we'll move forward. Shay's now focused on getting off the ventilator for brief periods so he can breathe on his own. Stepfather Patrick Neville says in May, Shay had a special pacer surgically placed to make that happen. It's just like a heart pacer. It sends electrical charges to the phrenic nerve, which basically contracts the diaphragm, which gives him the ability to breathe on his own. Breathing on his own, if briefly, is a goal that will take time to achieve. Neville says Shea has to relearn how to breathe with help from therapists at the McGee Rehabilitation Hospital in Philadelphia, a nationally recognized facility for spinal cord injuries. There, Neville says Shea has interacted with other patients and found solidarity. He has something in common with other people who have been through this situation and have motivated him to press on through the bad times. Neville says the best case scenario would be for Shea to be off the ventilator for several hours at a time, improving his quality of life. He says the community support Shea receives keeps his spirits high. The cards, letters, the, the, just the positive feedback, the positive things we've gotten from the people in Las Vegas has been outstanding. As Shea's recovery continues, Neville has a message of optimism for families going through the same journey. You know, there is potential hope for people in the same situation as Shea. Shea will spend at least the next several weeks in Philadelphia for his rehab. If the sessions do go well, he and his family will eventually be able to come back to the Valley. Reporting it near the Strip, I'm Jeremy Chen.